Okay, there was an interesting blog post by Istvan from uh, Kilgray earlier this month and uh, one thing that I uh, noticed on this post was uh, something labeled InDesign Deluxe and this sounded very interesting. Basically, it's the possibility to translate native InDesign files in the INDD format and with a new online service from Kilgray you can convert these INDD files into a MemoQ XLIF and get also a PDF that shows you what the InDesign file looks like. And once you're done translating this file in MemoQ, you can upload the translated XLIF and get the translated uh, INDD back. So I decided to give this a try. And since I didn't have an INDD file, and managed to find one on my drive, so on C, and Users, Public, Public Documents, SDL Trados, Samples, and Story Collector for InDesign, I could find a file called uh, sample.indd. So I created a special folder called InDesign Deluxe, and I copied that file to that folder. And uh, in fact, I will rename it uh, uh, to sample InDesign so that I know it's uh, my InDesign file. And now I will go back to my browser and I will go to a place called uh, languageterminal.com which is this uh, new service uh, created by Kilgray. I have uh, created myself an account and I can log in to that account. And here there is an option called the InDesign import. I will select it and uh, I will add a new file to upload and I will browse to my InDesign Deluxe folder and here I have my INDD file and I will open it. And now I can start uploading it. Okay, and uh, now I will uh, decide what kind of import it is. It's uh, import InDesign into XLIF, right? And uh, the source language, I think it's English, so I will select it here. And I want to translate it into French. So I will select French here, and uh, I will save. And now the, the importing is in progress. It, it should take a few seconds. And now it's ready. I have uh, sample InDesign.zip. And what I will do, I will save this file to my InDesign Deluxe folder on my desktop here, like this. And let's have a look at this file. So I will open it um, here, extract everything. And I have uh, two files here. Uh, one is has the extension mqxlc. So this is the MemoQ XLIF file and the other one is uh, sample indesign.pdf, so it's a PDF. Let's open it and let's have a look uh, at it. So it has two pages and uh, it's in English. And there, there, are, there are some graphics and uh, some text in black and in red, some bulleted points and uh, so on. That's the file that we're going to try to translate in MemoQ. So now I will open MemoQ, and this is, by the way, the latest uh, version 6.2.3. And I will import this um, InDesign file here. So sample InDesign, this um, uh, MemoQ XLIF file. Open. And yes, it's recognized it as MemoQ XLIF. Okay. And now I can see this file has uh, 45 segments. I can open it for translation. And here is what it uh, looks like. And uh, I will translate. I will not translate it uh, entirely, but uh, only a few segments and the rest I will use uh, pseudo translate to populate the remaining segments. So let's translate this first segment here <coughs> like this. And now I will confirm it. And the second one is OK. This one is the same. And now I will uh, uh, translate this one here like this. I will approve it. And uh, what will be the next one? Let's see. I will try to translate this, um, this one also. 
So these are these titles. And um, okay, I will approve it. And uh, what else could I translate? Maybe this one here. I have a fuzzy match that I can use. And uh, I will confirm it and uh, maybe still a few more. Maybe this one also like this. And uh, I think it's uh, probably enough. And for the rest, I will go to tools and options and machine translation. And here I will enable machine translation and I will select uh, the MemoCube pseudo translation plugin. And OK. And now I can pre translate this uh, file. Uh, any match, use machine translation. And OK. And that should uh, populate the remaining segments. OK. So I have now all my segments. What I will do uh, for the bulleted points, I will um, remove the first character added by. Memo queue, and uh, otherwise that should be okay. I think there was another. Uh, yes, maybe this one also the uh, the numbered list. I will remove these characters. Okay, so now I have um, partially translated and partially pseudo translated uh, file and uh, I can go and here I can uh, export bilingual and I will export the file as uh, memoq xlif again export uh, memoq adds the language code for French that's okay so I can save this file okay so now I have uh, my translated MemoQ XLIF file and uh, I can upload it uh, to uh, language terminal. So let's go here and uh, I will add uh, a new file and this time I will select the translated MemoQ XLIF and start uploading. And this time the type of uh, conversion it's not import InDesign into XLIF, it's rather export XLIF to InDesign. And uh, that's it. And now I can save. And the conversion is in progress. And now it's uh, ready. So I can download again this translated file. I uh, will uh, save the file again here. And let's have a look at it. So that's uh, this file that we now downloaded and I will again extract it here and I got uh, here the PDF from the translated InDesign. So let's have a look at uh, this file and here we can see <coughs> this title that we translated and uh, also this red text here was translated again this one here and the other texts were just pseudo translated so we have some garbage but that's the idea they made it into the translated InDesign file so we were able to produce a translated uh, InDesign file with this new language terminal service from Kilgray and using MemoQ for the actual translation. Thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.